This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Welcome to my channel, my name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are all doing well, hope you are. Thanks for watching. How are you? Are you okay? Hopefully you are. Today is Thursday. <laughs> uh, nothing, nothing special if I'm honest about today. Just a normal day in the world of Luke C and HTV. Uh, but we are in Avonmouth. We're about to do a delivery into Westlands. Uh, but actually, that is out of the ordinary. I, I want this this van to move. It's matching my speed for a start. <laughs> so it's overtaking this van. Now it's matching my speed, so I, I'm stuck in lane two. Uh, yeah, we're going to Westlands in Avonmouth, which um, if you watched my last video with the wind blowing all over the place, that's the place. Hopefully it won't be quite as windy today. Um, and we're also delivering rather than collecting. So that's different, not done that before. Uh, we've just collected this from, uh, is it Halesmere Port? Halesmere Port, yeah. I think it begins with an E. Halesmere Port, um, collected from there. Delivery down here, that is what we're doing. That beeping, by the way, for those of you who don't know, is my sat nav warning me of a speed camera. There's two yellow cameras there look, on the left. So um, that's what that warning is for. The van is now moved so we can get into the left lane. Excellente! So yes, hopefully you are all doing well. Um, this is the video after the, the wind, the windy video that I did. Bloody hell, that was proper windy that day. Lost my heart out and everything. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a very windy day. So the plan for this video is, um, and obviously things can change, deliver this load to Avermouth. From Avermouth, we're then heading to Tetbury. We're getting loaded for two drops, one in Brighton and one in Hastings, which will be done tomorrow. I'm gonna go home tonight because I've been out all week so far. So Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, today's Thursday. So I've been out three nights in a row. Tonight, I could head on down if I wanted to, um, but I'm, I just want to go home to honest with you tonight. I've not, I've not seen the wife of the kids since Sunday, so and it's Thursday. So I'd like to go home and see them. That's just the joys of chucking. Um, and then tomorrow we will resume the video and um, go down to Brighton and then go to Hastings. So what we're doing from there, I don't know. Not a clue. If I were to guess, I would say... I got no, I don't know. Got, I've actually got no idea. <laughs> so uh, a comment I get asked a lot um, in the comment section down below is what brand are these sunglasses? Now this isn't sponsored or anything, but they're Melon. I don't know if you can see that. Melon Optics. If you just put that into Google, Melon sunglasses, it'll come up. I've worn these for years. Not these particular glasses. I keep buying new ones. Um, but even when I was class two tipper, I had Melon sunglasses. But they're awesome. They're custom designed in some sort of sense. You pick what colour you want the arms, you pick what colour you want the frame, you pick what colour you want the lens. They're about 50 quid each. I got two of these and um, I use them as basically my, my cheap glasses. I bring them to work and wear them at work and then I use my Ray-Bans when I'm on the weekend basically. But these ones are only 50 quid. They're quite, quite robust. I've dropped them, they get scratched, but they look nice. Into lane one, excellente. So I've been doing a bit of research recently because um, I don't want to leave Harry and Sons, but I do want to get my own truck um, and work through Harry and Sons, ideally. Whether it happens or not, we don't know. We're gonna have to wait and see. I need to do, do some talking, but I've done some research my end on like trucks and that. There was this S540, uh, I think it was, Scania V8. <laughs> I asked them how much it cost. It was £100,000 plus VAT. I worked it out. I think it was about 550 quid, 600 quid a week or something on finance. And uh, I was there just thinking to myself, could I afford it? And I think I could, like, especially if I used um, like the YouTube revenue towards it, I think I could afford that sort of truck. But I've been doing a lot of thinking 
and um, I'm not going to go for a Scania VAS, whatever, whatever it is, because I want to make money to begin with. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to have to rely on the money I make on advertising YouTube videos to cover the cost of the other business, if that makes sense. So it is a long ways down the line yet. We're talking another year at least. I've got to get an O license, but. I do want to get a truck. I might go down the renting option, maybe leasing option um, to begin with, just to see if I can make a profit, make a tiny profit, and then I can buy a truck outright. I don't really want anything on finance. Um, I'd rather buy things outright, and then if I've got to up and sell it, then I can. I've not got to worry about owing anyone any money. That's the plan. So yeah, We're, I'm hoping late 2022, um, no, hang on, we're in 2022 now, aren't we? <laughs> I'm hoping, um, like, middle of 2023 to late 2023. That's what I'm hoping. So, by the end of next year, fingers crossed. But I'm probably going to go down the option of just uh, renting out a cheap truck to begin with. Cheap enough that, you know, one, one delivery a week will cover the cost of the truck. And then uh, the rest of it, there's loads of stuff. There's, there's been some companies com uh, messaging me on uh, my Facebook page talking about, you know, all the other stuff that you've got to de deal with and the paperwork side of it. And, you know, one company said uh, there's no way I'd be able to do YouTube and be an owner-operator at the same time. To that, I say, try me. <laughs> like, I'm just going to set out to prove you wrong, really. Um, I know... <laughs> I know Jabba watches this. Jabba, those long-time viewers will know Jabba. I used to work with Jabba. Jabba's an old family friend, known me since I was a kid. And uh, he's, he's probably watching this. And he said that he don't think I'll get a truck. And I love him, but I'm going to prove you wrong, Jabba. <laughs> I'm going to prove you wrong. I like... Um, if people say I can't do something, I will show you that I can, basically. And, uh, you know, it's nothing nothing against anyone for thinking that everyone's entitled to their opinions but i'm definitely going to try i think the wife the wife's just spent two pound 88 on the joint account it's just come up on the phone <laughs> right so here we are at avonmouth docks get these pallets off we also need a break yeah we're on four hours and 16 minutes of driving time so we'll have enough time to get in get the delivery off and then um Hopefully we can find somewhere to park up on site. Let's come around this Gregory's. But yeah, regard, regarding the truck, the trucking business, I do want to get my own business going. I want to try it out. If I don't try it, I'm going to hate. I'm going to. I don't want to be one of these people in their 50s or 60s and says, "Oh, I tried to do it, but I, I didn't have enough money." Or I'm very lucky. I'm in a position where I got money to, to to afford it, and not a problem. Once we get a house, we've got to get a house first, and then. And then I'm in a position where I can try it out. If it, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I don't want to be someone who wishes I did it. I want to be someone who says, I did try it, whether it works or not, basically. My dad wishes that he, um, that he tried when he was younger. He said he's too old now. I mean, he's, he's had a heart attack now. He's, he's not going to drive anyway. Um, he's already said he doesn't want to drive anymore. But before the heart attack, he told me that he wished he tried when he was younger. So if anything, I want to do it for him as well, if I'm honest. Because um, I'd love to have my dad working for me, doing something for me. Not necessarily driving, but running the books, organising runs, um, getting work. Do you know what I mean? I'd love for my dad to work for me like that, make it a family business. That, which brings me on to the other thing. So, sorry if this is boring you, by the way, but this is just what's on my head at the moment. And when you drive for hours and hours, it's just stuff you think of. Company name is what I... I don't... Because... My surname is Cuss, C-U-S-S. -S. So I, I, I just want to call it Cuss Haulage, to be honest with you. But everyone else says I should call it Luke C and HTV because that's my brand name, that's me. Um, and that's what everyone knows, which I can I understand and, and get entirely. But let me know down in the comment section, what do you think? Should I have a truck that says Luke C and HTV all over it? Or should I have a truck that says Cuss Haulage over it, my surname, which I'm more inclined to have? I can still be Luke C and HCV, but work for Cuss Haulage. I am Luke C and HCV, and Cuss Haulage is my business. Does that make sense? That's the way I see it anyway. But yeah, let, I'm interested in knowing what you guys think. Because um, it will it will have a say in what I ultimately end up doing. Right, we are here 
<laughs> Let's go and see someone about a delivery. I'm hoping they can throw these off in like five minutes. That would be very nice. Oh yeah, delivery from Aylesmere. Yeah, no worries. Uh, tip you over there, you'll yeah. sign it and you can just go from there. Then. So round there, turn left, right, past the building, turn left again, yeah? That's it, and then you go into the new yard, by the way. Lovely, cheers, thank you, mate. Right, as soon as someone moves their forklift, I can go. Hi right, mate. Yeah, all right, mate. We just want to come in there reverse there where we want to use our view. Yeah. That one there, that little one. Yeah. So once you've done that, I'll get you right there with Tiffio. Lovely. Thank you, mate. Cheers, mate. Right. <laughs> so he's saying it's a bit windy, so reverse in there, open my curtains in there, and then uh, it'll take me around to where I've got to go to be deliver, uh, to be offloaded. So that's what we're going to do. Let's just reverse it back in here. I think we'll be having a break on site. What are we on now? Here yeah, we've got seven minutes of driving time left. So uh, we'll, we'll move our curtains, we'll then drive around there somewhere, get tipped, and then I'll ask him if I can stay there and have a break. If he says no, which is possible, then I should still have five minutes of driving time left and I can get out and uh, park up somewhere well, where I uh, did my curtains up last time. I'll be able to get there at the, at the very least. So yes. Right, I'm going to go open my curtains. Uh, see you in a bit. Just want to give a quick shout out to The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. It is a book absolutely rammed with information regarding anything HGV related. There is something in this book that will benefit you, I absolutely promise you. It, we're talking taco rules and regulations, how to strap a load, how to hitch up to a trailer, uh, and also how to even get your HGV license in the first place. Everything that you need to know is in this book. I promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Anyway, enjoy the video. So yeah, it's still pretty windy out. said no. <laughs> I got halfway down and it started going up so I've uh, nearly got hit in the head then by the straps. So uh, I'll put it back up again on the uh, on the back. We'll go back to the, uh, the trailers and do it in between. Okie dokie, both curtains are now done up. We have sort of parked kind of where we were earlier but slightly over to the right. So yeah, now we're going to jump in the truck. We're going to get a uh, 30 minute break in because that's what we need. Then we're headed to Tetbury. <sighs> Lovely. And break. <sighs> it's a bit windy out there, you know, isn't it? <laughs> oh, boo, Akashar, there's a break. Right, we're going to head off now. Let's turn the old engine on. Right, let's go. Okay. I don't think you can really see that clearly, but that is snowing. That is trying to snow. Right, we're loaded. 
what I do now is put in the two postcodes into the destination. Um, well, actually, I just put the first one in. I do the, the I do the other one when I get back to the yard. But I'd just like to know how long it's actually going to take to get there. Um, Basing North, Basing Road North. Yeah, we've got no trucks waiting to come in to be loaded. Uh, yeah, so I put that in the sat nav for it to figure out a route. Okay, so from here, it's three and a half hours. You will arrive at your destination at 1927. Yeah, three and a half hours. So, what I can deduct from that is, I'm probably gonna have to be there for about half past seven. So tomorrow, I wanna be leaving the yard about four o'clock. Right, we'll just make sure it's all clear. Yeah, it's tomorrow I'm probably going to want to leave the yard about four o'clock to get there for half past seven. Um, of course, that is three and a half hours from here. So once we get back to the yard, it may well go down to three hours, we see. But, um, but yeah, that's what, uh, that's what the sat nav is saying from here. So uh, we're done for today. We're going to head to the yard now and then I will see you in the morning. Looks like we've got a couple of trucks coming in now as well. <laughs> right, I'll see you in the morning. Hello everybody. It is now morning. It's very bright out as well. Don't change. Don't change. Don't change. Thank you. Woo. Yeah, that's bright. Um, yes, we are now in Brighton. I've had to deal with a road closure this morning. Um, I think it was very recent road closure because it wasn't picked up on any satellite navigation that I have. So we had to take a um, like a, a stab in the dark, I suppose, a guess at um, where we need to go. So we just carried on the A road we were on. I think it was the A14, might be wrong. I think it was A14. And um, yeah, then we ended up where we are now. So I just checked, it was... A27, we were massively off. <laughs> um, so we're only a mile away from our destination. However, um, just sat in traffic. It's been a bit of a nightmare actually, it's secure. Um, we've got to go right down to the seafront. We're delivering to, where are we delivering? We're delivering to Chandler's Building Supplies in Brighton. And it looks like it's pretty much on the seafront. We've got 20 bags. Yeah, 20 bags, so it's not a lot. And then we've got to go to Hastings and deliver 12 pallets. The Hastings ones looks interesting. It doesn't look like it's very big at all for a truck. So I'll be making a phone call before we go there. But yeah, we're just sat in traffic at the moment waiting for this to, to open up. There we go, there's the train. My original ETA here was um, eight o'clock. Why does the truck keep doing that? Anyway, yeah, the original ETA was eight o'clock. Now it's half past eight. With diversions in trains, Well, you're not indicating. There's another train. What could be annoying in situations like this is I'm in the right-hand side lane, I'm indicating to go left. These traffic lights, you can see there's four circles, which means there'll be a left green arrow that pops up as well as a normal green arrow. In some cases, that left green arrow can be on which means only traffic turning left can go. There's no one in front of me right now. I need this lane to go left, but you'll get the odd car to go around you, park right in front of you, and then you can't turn left because they're there. So hopefully that doesn't happen. There is a car behind me, but they're staying behind me. Right, let's turn left here. I'll take up both lanes, watch the vehicle on my left, watch the vehicle coming down. Lovely. Thank you. We're practically here. It's just over here on the right-hand side we've got to go. We do have to take a, a right-hand turn in a minute. It might be sharp. It might be sharp. It might not be, but it might be. Is that Jeep going in the no entry? Mate, if you don't go, I'm going to go.
don't like it when trucks are parked out on the roads. That screams to me that they can't get in. <laughs> I want to get in. A lovely jubbly. I don't think any. Uh, I don't think any lorry driver goes past another lorry without checking its load, or like checking it strapped. <laughs> like seeing how they've strapped it. Yeah. I would say it was uh, adequately strapped. Adequately, adequately strapped. Right, we're delivering right there, on the right. But we need to go down here and turn right. Whether you can or not, I don't know. This rings about, is there a port here for trucks? I remember a turn like this for a, another area where we got loaded with wood. Well, I think it's down here. I think I've been here before. Stay green, stay green, stay green. Thank you. Yeah, I've, I've been here before. I have been here before. You go down here, you go all the way around and you end up going into a, like, there's like a docks area and you get loaded with wood. Uh-huh. But we're not going there, we're going to Chandler's right here, look. And according to Google Earth, HGV entrance is the next left. Not this one, but the next one. And it looks like a one-way system, so I'm hoping I can just drive straight in. I'm hoping I can just drive in here and then hopefully someone can come and see me. Portlifter on the left can see me. He spotted me already. There's another bloke. Yeah, there's a lorry here, look. One of their own. We'll just wait here a second to go and find someone, tell them what we got, and then uh, be directed to the right place. See you in a bit. Well, I've just gone and, just gone and seen someone. He told me there's gonna be a little bit of a wait. So, never mind. Anyway, we're just parked there. Looks like it's leaning over quite a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just parked there. Go and have a look at the uh, the sea. That oh. was a gloriously summery day today. Well, not summer, winter. I would say. Very sunny. Anyway, we're gonna get the curtains open now. Start taking the straps off so we're at least ready to go. Yes! There she is. There's the beast. Right, situation is the lorry that was there is now gone, so I think they're just loading theirs now. And then it's time for me to go in. Uh, I've uh, undone my curtains, so we're ready to go. It's just the bolt bags on the end that need to go. And then that bag on top of that pallet as well. Once that bag's taken up, I can then restrap the pallet back up, which is why that's there. So yeah, just waiting. Uh, we've really got 20 bags to come on, so it shouldn't take too long. Once they start, it's just it's just getting them started. <laughs> like I've seen three forklifts, and uh, any one of them could start offloading me where I am, but there's plenty of, plenty of space for them to offload me on this side. But uh, obviously, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> no, it doesn't work like that. So we've got to wait. So yeah, we're just chilling. They take as long as they want, as far as I'm concerned. It's Friday. I'm not going to get angry on a Friday. Ah, right. One of their trucks have just come in. Look, they're now behind me. The question is, did they get him around me before I get tipped? Because that's what a lot of merchants do. 
Sorry driver, you're gonna have to wait. Our truck just turned up. So for the first time I think in forever, <laughs> I've uh, I've been opening these up with my hands, as you do, to help them out. I've actually been told not to. <laughs> he actually he actually just said, um, don't don't do that because I can get them easier when you don't do that. I was like, well, okay, whatever. But yeah, like 99% of people want you to open what I call the ears out so they can get into them a lot easier. But he said, no, not. Well, I can do it. Saves me a job, doesn't it? <laughs> I can enjoy, uh, enjoy the sunshine a bit more. Right, we're getting there. What we've got left? One, two, three, four. Four more bags left and then we're done. <laughs> I just, uh, he messed it up and I just put my hand in just to, uh, to sort it out. Don't put your hand in, you'll lose your hand. Said, mate, it's not. I said, I've put my hand in a few of these bags, mate. It's, it's not gonna work. <laughs> I think it's just one of those things, you know, the more you do it, the more you get used to it. I know where to put my hand, where not to put my hand. I know the forks are that. I know you're in drive. I know you can move forward. That's why my hand's not in front of your fork, it's to the side of your fork. But, um, yeah, never mind. Three more left to go, and then uh, straight to Hastings from here. Right, so that's that delivery made. Been here slightly longer than expected, but what can you do? We've, uh, we will be making a phone call. In the meantime, I'm just gonna make a phone call to the next destination, let them know I'm coming. Nurseries. I'm so sorry nobody's around to take a call at the moment, but if you'd like to leave a message. No answer. Okay. We all know what happens if there's no answer. You call again. <laughs> if there's no answer the second time, then you then you leave it. Uh, Harbour Nurseries. I'm so sorry nobody's around to take a call at the moment, but if you'd like to leave a message. Cool. No answer. So we're just gonna have to head there blind. I'll, maybe I'll call them when I'm a bit closer. I've got the number of my phone now so I can call them hands-free. Uh, we're just waiting for this lorry to move and then we can go. So there's no one, there's no one in the truck. So I don't know, can I get around the side of them? I'm gonna try and get around the side. Might be right actually. Yeah, so I was told that the lorry would be leaving in a sec. That's not the case, he's still there, so we're gonna just cut around him. Lovely! Is, does that say all traffic must turn right? No, just that the cheese hut is to the right. That makes it look like all traffic has to turn right. Another van coming. Yeah, that's down there. That's the way to, to my right. That's the way where the docks was. Where we get loaded with wood. Not today. Today, we go to Hastings. All right, let's get an update on my thunder. It's a bit loud. Hoping I can pick it up this weekend. Because we've only had it for six weeks now. Six weeks. Good morning, Fishcock's Honda. Hi there, mate. Good morning. Um, this is Mr. Cuss. I've got a Type R there for um, head gasket and head cylinder being rebuilt. You have indeed, yes. Yes. How you doing, mate? You all right? Yeah, not too bad yourself. Yeah, just a quick one. Um, will it be ready yes. for this weekend? If so, I need to arra make arrangements. If not, then I won't bother. No, the... Yeah, not cool, but yeah, all right. At least we've got an answer. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, I look forward to your um, to your call next week then, mate. No worries, we'll speak to you soon. No worries, have a good day. Cheers, bye-bye. So, yeah. Another week they were having for. I think that'll be seven weeks then, by the time I pick it up. Ah, never mind. That's a long time, isn't it? Two months, pretty much. The plan is to get it back. I need to just take my personalised number plate off, so that's 80 quid to, to get that put on retention. Uh, and then I need to get my mechanic out and I need to swap over the trackers from my old Type R, put it into my new Type R. I've also got a video coming out soon with regards to trackers. My, one of my sponsors, Tracker 24-7. Um, 
recently got some new trackers coming out and uh, I, th I thought it was a good opportunity to, to show you about them whilst I get my tracker swapped over. So that's something to look forward to. Um, so yeah, I've got to do that, take the retention off, the, the number plate put on retention. So if I get my car next week, we're probably looking at, well, we're going to be in March, aren't we? So yeah, hopefully I'll sell my car by the end of March. Would be nice, but there's no guarantee. Uh, if anyone's interested, £21,000. It's got a massive repair bill. <laughs> I've just spent a lot of a lot of money to get it fixed. Well, we'll, we'll do by the time I sell it. Five and a half grand, bloody hell. Right, anyway, we're about 25 minutes away from our delivery point. I also know that from Hastings, we're going straight back to the yard. So I would have thought we'd be doing a collection somewhere down here, but nope. Back to the yard, do a trailer swap onto a flatbed. That's all I've been told. I presume I'll be loading it up um, either Tetbury or, or the yard once I swap it over, but we'll find out um, later on. Don't need to know right now. Plus, the boss probably doesn't, there's only 20 to 11, so the boss probably doesn't have, actually have any orders in yet. So, according to the SAT nav, the uh, the sea should be on our right hand side. Yeah, I can see it. It's quite nice driving on coastal roads, especially when the weather's nice like this. Beautiful weather out there. I mean, it could do have been a bit warmer. It's only nine degrees Celsius. Um, so it's not, well, I could be wearing shorts out there, <laughs> but it's not like t shirt weather. It's quite windy. Quite windy. If we find a space big enough for a truck, should we just stop and have a break and just chill on the beach for half an hour, 45 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Very unlikely we find a space big enough for a truck. You can barely find a space big enough for a car on a seafront. <laughs> but there we go, look. There's the, uh, the sea. I see the sea. Uh, does anyone else, when they're going, oh, these lights have just changed. I was committing then. I was committing to a green light, but they've just changed. <laughs> does anyone else go on holiday with their family and see, see who can see the sea first? It's like a little game we always play. Who can see the sea first? Obviously, I know when the sea's about to appear, so I, I pretend I haven't seen it and let the kids spot it first. Obviously, that's what you do, but little games like that. You know, it's memories, isn't it? We've actually got a holiday coming up. We, um, we were going to go on my wife's birthday, which just happens to be uh, corresponding with um, Truckfest Peterborough this year. So I was told I couldn't, told by my wife I couldn't go to Truckfest Peterborough this year because it's her 30th birthday. We've got to go somewhere, just me and her um, and the kids. So we booked a holiday, um, but we changed it literally last night. We're now going to go two weeks earlier uh, on the Easter holiday. So I might go track for speed, but I'm not sure yet if I'm going to go. I don't know. We'll see. Right, turn green. Yes. Let's go, 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 go. Yeah, nice little view out there, look. Off the sea. Anywhere to park a truck? Of course, there's going to be nowhere to park a truck. There's going to be nowhere down here to park a truck. It is nice, though. Look at that. Look at all these houses on the left. These houses on the left are going to get an amazing view. Lovely. Oh, look, the car park. Can we get a lorry in there? Doubt it. No, not unless I want to take the barrier down with me. <laughs> parking a bus stop. Oh, apologies to the bus driver. On a really old video, I obviously stopped at a bus stop for some reason, and some bus drivers had a go at me. <laughs> do, I do apologise, mate. <laughs> right, we'll indicate now. Garden centre, 100 yards. Right, turn left. Barn on the left. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, bloody hell. Look at that. Don't want to go down there, mate. It's a bit, it's a bit narrow. Yeah, so we keep tight to the left. That is a tight turn. We should make it, but it's going to be a tight one. Stop. Stop it, boys. Tom Tom thinks I'm talking to it. Lovely. Yeah, that forklift move, take a nice wide turn. Yeah, it should be all right. Should be all right. Okay, we're here. 
window up. Let's go see someone. Hopefully it won't take too long to tip. Although haven't... If that's the forklift, then yeah, I'm going to have to move over. Never mind. It's going to be a bit of hassle, I think, this one, but we'll get it done in the end. Right, I'll see you in a bit. So, apparently at this place it takes three people to take a, a pallet off a truck. They're, uh, they're being a little bit demanding. Do this, do that. You need to be here, you need to be there. You need to lower your suspension, you need to higher your suspension. Just take the pallets off. <laughs> um, so they are doing both sides. We, we managed to spin, spin around in the yard. I'll show you now actually. So we were there. We've managed to spin round. We're now in the middle of the yard. Um, he was um and about that side not being very safe, so they wanted me to get over more to this side. And I tried getting over more to this side, but I don't have much space. Because they put their car, pretty much, let me show you. So their car's over here. I'm not gonna get a number plate or anything. So I couldn't get enough leeway to, to reverse on down here. So that's the best I can do. But in my mirror, I can see the forklifter putting it flaying it, flailing his arms up in the air like what are you doing so he's annoyed me so because you've annoyed me i'm leaving you to it <laughs> you got two people helping you out anyway so it's quite funny it's like yeah left up a bit right a bit yep yeah, up <laughs> i can still <laughs> i can still hear him do it now yep yeah, go straight yep yeah, straight a bit so I, all I'm saying is, for someone who is so sure on where, where I need to be, what I need to do, suspension needs to go up, suspension needs to go down, why can't you lift, a, lift the pallet up by yourself? <laughs> Never mind. Lift a bit, up, down a bit, forward a bit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't... I... <laughs> shouldn't be mean. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just almost laughed out laughing. Um, yeah, so they just took a pallet off and one of them just shouted, clear, like he's in bloody ER or something and he's about to shock someone. <laughs> clear. Oh my God. I don't know, the, I, it's just funny because like you come over all confident like you know he knew what he was doing i hate i hate to diss people i really do we came over all confident like he knew what he was doing and it's actually quite comical to watch it <laughs> right 25 minutes 30 minutes later one side is done one side left to go it's only for our pallets i understand completely that different forklifters take different amount of times to do the job uh yeah maybe maybe i'm just being a little bit uh rude <laughs> just find it funny you gotta have a laugh sometimes <laughs> clear <laughs> okay so i'm just looking at the route using my tom tom go expert go back a bit more yeah and we'll go back i'll go back a bit is that right a bit more Keep going. Stop. Keep saying yeah, 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 yeah. Lovely. Right, so, it's only about the fourth time I've moved, mind you, but yeah, so we are now looking at the route uh, back to the yard on the Tom Tom Go Expert. So, yes, yeah, so this is where we were earlier when we were looking at the sea line. Uh, obviously, as you can see, we're not going to head down there. We are going to head south slightly from where we are, from up here, and then we're going to gotta cut across, go past St. Helens up to Barnes, ba bold, bold, slow, bold, slow, and then from up there, I expect it's all the way up to the M25, is it? A41, uh, sorry, A21, yeah, M25, and then go towards the M3, cut across bag shot where I broke down and we, we have a truck, and up to Wokenham, M4, Swindon, and then we go back that way, yes. So it's a three hour, 40 minute drive. We will require a break on the way back, so. Seem, <laughs> depends how long they take to tip us here um, but we're probably looking realistically about quarter past four I reckon but we'll see we'll see right we're good to go wheel up suspension leveled 
there's a guy walking down with a bin, but if I'm making my way, I want to move, he might go a bit quicker. and wide right we're gonna turn right here That's, off we go lovely jubbly yeah so hmm I mean take <laughs> take earlier on in this video for example which was yesterday for me um, 24 pallets offloaded in 10 minutes trial pallets offloaded in an hour <laughs> so it's not great I mean look I don't want to be rude different places take different amount of times to, to offload there is no set um, sort of time do you know what I mean it takes as long as it takes at the end of the day but obviously <laughs> the quicker you can get to it the, the better generally speaking um, you know, so you can get on with your day. Especially for me, as a bus coming. Especially for me, like I'm on salary. Um, so the earlier I finish, the better. The, the you know, I get paid a set amount of, of money per day. Um, so if I, if I only do 10 hours, and I'm better off than if I do 12 hours or 15 hours. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, there is an, an incentive for me to just crack on and get on with it. Um, it would be the same if you were like uh, self-employed as well. So if, if I had my own truck, um, you get paid a set rate. That's the rate for the job. Soon you'd want that job to be finished as soon as possible, um, so you can get on to the next one. So it's going to be the same. The only way it works out is if you're paid hourly, um, like a few a few guys I know, and then you, they drag the job out. Do you know what I mean? So if they're an hour away from their destination, they might only do 45 mile an hour all the way there, so it takes an hour and 20 minutes or whatever, or take a slightly longer route, so they can <laughs> add on the time. So it's playing the game, isn't it? But yeah, for me personally, I've always preferred just to get on with it, get tipped quickly and go. I don't drive fast, you know, I do the speed limits, um, but I just like to get on with it, keep moving, keep going. I don't like sitting around, I've, I never have. Believe it or not. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we're tipped now. We're heading back to the yards. Um, it's a three hour, 40 minute drive uh, to get there. So it's a bit of a trek and uh, we will require a break on the way back as well. So I'll, uh, I'll probably see you in just shy of four hours or something, hours time, four hours time when we get there. And uh, I'll probably do the trailer swap and then uh, speak to you guys and let you know what I'm doing. Okay, all right, we're just filling out of our balloon now behind me. I thought I'd take this opportunity to uh, put the number plate on the trailer that I'm taking. There's a flatbed just there. We'll uh, hitch up to it in a minute. I've just dropped the trailer off the side of those logs. Should be wearing a high vis, really. Never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, so the trailer I did have, I've dropped there. We're now going to hitch up to that one. Uh, the ad blue takes a while to fill up, so I thought while it does that quickly, I'll go put the number plate on, so that's one job done. And then uh, we can hitch up to it, do our paperwork, and then go home. Lovely jubbly. Before I was a truck driver, I didn't know that they come out, believe it or not. But they do. Trailer number one, baby. Yeah, so in a second, I'll hitch up to this trailer. I'll then drive forward to over here and then reverse back over there and park it next to the trailer I just dropped. So yeah, it's a lovely day today though. Lovely day. Fill up, yes, we fill up. Filling up. Keep going. All right, that's our blue done. So yes, um, all going well, that's my truck. 
all going well. I'll be back in that Wednesday. Uh, today's Friday, obviously, last working day of the week. I'm back in this one Monday, C14. And then Tuesday, I'm off work. And also Tuesday, that's going in for an MOT. So presumably it will pass, ECU will be fixed, and then I will be back in my truck. <laughs> Fingers crossed. And uh, yeah, because I can't wait to get some Bluetooth. Got no Bluetooth in that old truck. <laughs> right, anyway, let's hitch up to this trailer, then we'll be done then. So we're now hitched up to the trailer. I'm just now getting the stuff ready to go. Right. I can go up there out the way. Right, let's park this trailer up. So we've got to get out of this gap first. It's not the easiest, it's a bit tight. And then, let's see if we can get out without knocking, knocking anything over. Right, we can start turning a little bit. There's pallets on the left hand side, so I've just got to make sure I don't hit the pallets with the, uh, the front of the trailer, because it swings out a bit. Can we do this in one go? Yeah, we're looking good. We've just got to straighten up a bit now. Go on the curb. Go back a bit, mine that there. There we go, now we can start to blind it left. Bam, bam, bam. Where's the trailer? Now we're gonna have to take another shunt, I think. Yeah. Angle it down here. And now we can go back. Lovely. Straight back, pretty much. So we've already done the number plate. Oh, we're kicking up some dust. Yeah, we've already done the number plate. So we haven't got to worry about that. Everything else is pretty much done, good to go. Go back as far as we can. about about there I'm gonna say <laughs> let's see how close I am to that fence in a minute <laughs> from where I am I look really close <laughs> I'm trying to trying to aim it so it's just right <laughs> right um, so yeah we're done I'm just gonna pack, pack some stuff away then I'll see you outside right I can't be long because I've now got to go take the kids to swimming <laughs> but I thought I'd just show you the back of the trailer there we go can't get much further back than that. That was all with me just judging by my eye in the mirror. So yeah, we're done. Done for the week. Um, like I said, I've got to crack on now because I've got to go take my kids to swimming. So, so just want to say thank you to everyone for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, been a nice day. Been a nice chill day today. I haven't really done too much work. Just done two deliveries and that was it today. Uh, beautiful weather. Not too cold, nice and sunny. Went to the uh, the seafront. Been a good day, man. Been a good day. Anyway, more, one more day in that truck that you can't see anymore. <laughs> uh, and then hopefully we'll be back in G16. We will see. Anyway, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, please drive safe, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.